I'm gonna tell you some funny thing about that. Like with New York artists, right? One thing we always do, we focus on one aspect of New York rap. You know what I mean? Like you can't tell me MOP was in New York. Any Up was New York. You can't tell me Slam was in New York. You can't tell me Get At Me Dog was in New York. Now, if you if Get At Me Dog was done in this damn time, it would have been put on it with trap drums, bro. That's a fact. You can't get around it. And it would have been the same energy, the same intensity, the same feeling. I'm not saying my record sounds like that. What I'm saying is New York artists got to stop putting themselves in a box where all we could do is fucking sit there in front of 40 people and rap all day. We not in a box, bro. Y'all niggas is old. Get the fuck out the way. Let new niggas come in and let us have fucking fun, nigga. Like, y'all niggas, yo, it's a big difference. Like, y'all dudes want to just sit there and spit a 42,000 bars. That's cool. I'm not saying that's not a part of New York. But at the end of the day, there's other aspects of New York rap, bro. Stop denying it. Slam was a New York record, bro. Throw your guns in the air was a New York record. You can't deny that. Nobody would have said that 10 years ago. When they did, when they when Onyx did Slam, and motherfuckers was, when they went to them white parties, and motherfuckers was, was uh, marsh pitting, nobody didn't say, that's not New York. Soon as a New York nigga now come do some turn up shit, it's down south. I don't know, nigga, we been doing that. Stop denying our part of the heritage, bro. That's just a fact. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't cut out one aspect of hip hop, bro. Turn up rap been here, bro. That's not new. I'm gonna tell you some real shit, you know what I mean? Like, and this is all honesty. Like, see, one thing you gotta realize always about New York, it's so, this shit is so big, right? They say Brooklyn is probably what the fifth biggest city, would be the fifth biggest city in the world on its own. So New York City is so big, bro. There's never been one person who controlled the city. I don't care what nobody tell you, there was never one man who controlled New York City. It's 40,000 gangsters everywhere. Nobody controlled the city, bro. So at the end of the day, it's like, yo, when we come in, I don't care who's a king, or who's no motherfucking prince. Nigga, I'm from, I'm from Edgeman Projects, Queens. And, I also, and I'm also from Marcy Projects. Same place Hove from. I don't care, I love Hove, but nigga, we bring you something new, nigga. Like, I ain't, I'm, not, I'm not sitting there trying to get no cosign from nobody. I'm coming with my shit. And that's what it is, bro. And I'm not stopping that. Ain't no nigga gonna stop that. There's only one nigga can stop the train, and that's the nigga inside of it. And that's a fact. Anybody else, we steamrolling over your ass. Get the fuck out the way or lay down and die. Facts that. Nah, you know, like I said always, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people get a miss of screw. Like, they, they, they think that, like, they think that, like, when you, you they, they, they feel like the Troy have suckered you out of right. No, he did. You gotta realize this, bro. When a nigga got a bigger name than you, and he remix your shit, if he don't say it's a remix, you would get you would get ran over, bro. That's a fact. Nobody can get away from that. Nobody. Cause you don't have the name to put yourself out there. Like nobody knows that Coco was a remake of another nigga's record. They thought that's his original song, but it's not. It was another nigga's beat that he took and did his song over, and they got the money behind it, and the song got bigger. So Sun's record got demolished. Now, when you come into that situation, you got two things. You can fight the nigga every day, but at the end of the day, the record is going. I don't give a fuck who like it or not, that record is gonna go. You can fight that nigga every time you try to see him. You might, you're not gonna have the money to keep up with every city that nigga going to, right? Or you could do what I did. Be smart, wait your motherfucking turn, and when you get your platform, you tell a story. And the story gonna come out, and, and, and the nigga will say, a nigga, you can't be a sucker and scared of a nigga if you telling the story. If you were scared of a nigga, you wouldn't say it. I'm saying it, because nigga ain't scared of nobody. That's a fact, nigga. That's a fact. And everything with Ab, you know what I mean? Like, shout out to them. He did what he did. Nigga, it wasn't for him. I wouldn't have this show. He put me on a pedestal. I jumped off stand on my own two fucking feet like a man, nigga. And any nigga think differently, suck <laughs> Hove have the ability of, 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 of adapting to time, bro. You got to adapt to time. When you fight against time, you will always lose. Time don't wait. It don't stand still. Time is gonna go, bro. Like, that's just what it is. Like, I remember when I first performed, right? They told me, don't bring 40 people on stage with you, right? And they told me I was crazy for that shit. 
They like, how how you gonna do that? They told me when I get the biggest stages, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm not gonna want to do that. Yeah, but then when you see Kanye do it, right? And he got 70 people on stage. They said this is the greatest performance I ever seen. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like time is progressing, bro. And that's just what it is, my nigga. It's like you gotta adapt to time. So the people that died off, it's cause they just didn't keep going with time. I don't fight against time. I'm living in my time in the present. And then I'm working towards the future. When this shit change, I will change too. I'm not trying to stick with no one particular style, one particular genre. I'm not in the box, bro. Like, we live in the digital age, the internet age. Like, a nigga, I don't care what nobody say. The world is flat now, bro. It's no longer round. And what I mean by that is that a dude can say a slang from Japan, and you will hear it here, and, then, and another person will use it here. You understand what I'm saying? Like. All across the world now, we saying fuck 12. 12 don't mean the same thing in every in every uh, police jurisdiction. It don't have the same, it's not the same thing. It's not the same slang. But as us, as a hip hop culture, we know what it means. So it's, so the slang don't belong to them. It belongs to the culture. We're part of the culture, bro. We just cannot stop a fighting against where you from. No, the world is flat now. It's flat, bro. Everything is all connected. We all one now. We gotta keep going. Yo, what's next for us? It's like, yo, we got the, we got the concrete rolls coming, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a crazy shock on that joint. We got ill records. You are gonna see both aspects of the city. You are gonna see both aspects of the culture, and we are gonna blend them all together. And we are gonna have a lot of fun. And I mean, as you can see, when y'all check this footage out from this show, I don't care, man, I wanna have fun, man. I just wanna live the young rock star life that I'm doing. You know what I mean? Just remember the name, man, Manolo Rose, and the Rose Gang, Fame School, Broken Trippy, we coming, nigga, that's it. Facts, nigga. God.